Hello there everyone, this is Nick and Knight here, getting ready to play Sunken Lands. So, we're under attack, and I'll give you a, a tour of my place as soon as I get uh, some wood real quick. Because we're going to have to deal with those idiots. I gotta make sure to find some wood so I can reset my traps. There we are. I just need to grab some. Okay, that's not enough. I'm gonna have to... Uh, I'm gonna have to put some extra places around here for now. why my shots aren't hitting and that's stupid as hell they broke we need some kind of we need better metal setups here uh, we need better we need metal one of these because these guys as you just saw there was just shooting the hell out of everything and for some reason I could not for the life of me kill him like, none of my shots were shooting at him. It was They were, like, being blocked for some stupid flipping reason. So now I'm going to have to repair and all that other fun stuff. But anyways, this is not what we're here for, for today. We're actually here for... Oh, nice. Uh, we're here to go raid and stuff, or and I'm gonna have to repair these. I I really hope they give us either metal one of those with significant more life, or uh, increase the wood one's life. Anyways, oh, nice. There's the wood. I was grinding for wood, and I'll give you a tour of my place, but that's gonna be at the end. For now, we have two locations I kind of want to take out. Whether or not we can actually get to them is a different story. Uh, since there's no loot respawn because I am currently playing on an old save, I will not be able to make use of that. That means I'm going to have to uh, basically... Uh, we're going to put this up. At, at this point, this is getting full of crud that I need to get rid of. Uh, so, once they introduce the respawning of enemies and uh, procedurally generated islands where the they'll generate as the farther you explore and they introduce more tougher enemies, I'm going to then start a new game. Until then, we're going to continue to play with this. Oops. And we're gonna land so I can figure out where the hell I'm going. I will say, once you figure this out, it's actually pretty easy to uh, deal with. Oops. Alright, now we need to look down the map where we're going because the location I want to go is at... The Clifton Outpost and the Submerged Downtown. Those are my last two. Those are my two locations I want to hit. Whether I can not, whether I can hit both of them or not, will depend. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, six more locations in the south. If we do kill all the enemies, I'll simply f finish up this uh, build and. We'll start all over again and uh, all that, but I'm kind of hoping to wait for that. So I. Whoop. Mother flip nuggets, stupid. I don't know why the hell I got caught like that. 
all right we need to go north this way one thing i would appreciate the developers adding is a map or not a map but a compass uh, so we can tell the directions we need to go like if I want to go northwest I can be like okay the location I need to go to is northwest the other location I need to go to is uh, northeast I don't think that's the location uh, yeah the no I think this is one of the locations I need to go for Alright, we're gonna come in for a land in here. Thankfully, this can land in the water. So we can just simply bloop and hop out of that. And we can stand right here. And then we can simply just hit him. Oh, he survived. Oh, it wasn't a headshot. That's why. Dang it. I'm surprised I didn't get some of the headshots that I did, but oh well. Uh, he might start shooting. Really? He can't be faster than the speed of bullet. He was standing right there and I fired. Now those guys, I can be like, okay, they might ha be able to dodge the bullet. There's an enemy right back over here. Oh. Dang it. hate that when they get all squirmy like that basically the best way to deal with them is simply if you get a lock on them to quick fire uh, this game doesn't have a or this weapon doesn't have an alternative fire mode there we go does this Nope, this one doesn't either. So, so far, the only one I can tell that has an alternative fire mode seems to be the pistol or uh, the revolver. Really? I could have swore that would have been a headshot. How far is the stupid bullet drop? Wow. I aimed up like higher on that one and it's still I think the scope is really far off there we go there you're dead all right where's your buddy here headshot and he didn't die At this rate, going for headshots aren't worth it. You might as well go for body shots. The question is, where the hell is the rest of the enemies? And will I start getting, or will they light me up? Yes, they will light me up. This isn't the best spot to be hitting these guys from. Can I? Nope. Psst. Hey, over here. I know you want to come over. The problem is there's, oh. 
I didn't see him. Dead. Oh, I can see one person right there. Oh, he moved. Wow, there's two people there. I guess this would be a perfect spot to use a grenade. Hello, I'm right here. Stupid idiots. It sounds like one of them is uh, melee. Fun thing is, is I can simply go right here and... Oh wow, look at that, they're all right there in a group. I'm kind of wishing I had a grenade. Oh, oh right, I do have a grenade. Okay. Normally I don't like using these, but I mean... That well, that was like too perfect. There's like twenty of them right there. I know there's one more. There you go. That hurt, but you're dead. Ooh. Broken US. 45 SMG. Depending on the damage, uh, that might be a good pistol. Sweet, we've claimed it. Also, when breaking these, I highly recommend just using your hammer. Mostly because. Hmm? I don't know if that's a bug or what. I don't care about uh, charcoal. That's weird. I think some loot may actually respawn and some may not. Because like that, there, it's like, it's saying I can hit it, but it's not. Eh, you know what, we'll put that in there and keep that. Let's uh, loot up these guys over here. The group that was killed. Look at that. Four, four people. One grenade. Oh, I got the grenade back. Oh, I got double my investment. Oh, wow. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five people for one grenade. Don't you love that? Talk about efficiency. And I've got a ridiculous amount of uh, rifle ammo. Sweet. Alright, well, as soon as I can, I'm going to place down a marker on here. I'm going to claim this place as mine. And uh, we're going to move on to the next location. Uh, you know what? I'll take that and that and that. Most of this other stuff I don't care about. And we'll put that in there. Shotgun, don't care. Grenades, that's going to be great for recycling. Uh, da -da -da. Can we build a flag? Uh, da -da. I hate that it costs us a rope now for those traps, especially considering the defense is only 800 and they get blasted through, they get melted through by the enemies. 
I re oh wait, where the hell is it? Here we are. Uh, mine. All right, since this is an island, this one is going to be green. Green for island, red or purple for pure floating structures. There's some iron here. And I'll grab that and that. In fact, that's to the point. I don't even care about these. Oops. I forgot I accidentally hit E. Oh well, doesn't matter, I have one of them still. Actually, I have a couple of them. I'll take that and that and actually that and there. Uh, it looks like if you haven't restarted your world, the loot respawn doesn't uh, take effect, which kind of sucks. But at the same time, it kind of makes sense. It's an old game. Uh, or a save file that was around before the updates were made. That's why I'm saying either when they introduce the new factions and the new stuff, or uh, generating worlds, we're going to switch over to a new map and all that fun stuff and uh, I wish there was a trash can so we can actually trash trash these because they take up so much space and I don't want to actually litter the uh, world with them I want to just like keep them out of the way blah 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 oops anyways uh we need to head... Is it that one? Or that one? It's that one. We need to head to that island. And we're gonna need to find some gas pretty soon. to also find some players. take the wood we'll take that so we can mark down that we've claimed here oh it's a warheads submerge downtown can we climb this nope dang it where the hell is everybody There's one. Two shots, one to the head, one to the body. It kind of sucks that you can't just put them down in one shot. So I do hope they introduce a stronger rifle that can put the enemies down in one shot. I get unless they're wearing something like this. If they're wearing something like this, then okay. We're gonna need some flares, and I don't know where the hell to get some flares right now. Depending on how this goes, I'll. F I may have to fly back home. Oh, there's someone. Got him in the head. Ah, oh, you mother flip nuggets. I 
think he's right there, but I can't tell. Alright, we need to get down. The question is, can we get down in a way that doesn't hurt? Yes. Alright. No! Hello! Why am I so low, slow at running? Hitting me. Stupid. I'm taking your stuff. Oh, sweet. All right, I'm gonna. Ooh, a floating rock. <laughs> I'm gonna have to head back home and uh, sleep. I don't have any flares, so I can't fight. The problem is, is I don't want to be wasting fuel. I hate wasting fuel. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. There we are. If your base is still within rendering distance, you can be attacked. That's the one thing that sucks about uh, that having base attacks. Did they adjust this so that uh, it no longer hits a... Yes, they adjusted it so the angle naturally... Uh, Settles at about 226, it seems. Oops, we need to. There we are. I kind of wish we could control our uh, head view. Woo! Alright, we. Once we get the hang of it, it's actually pretty quick and fast to uh, drive. Like that. Uh, want to wait. And I want to try and take that island over. Ah, uh, it's still way too early in the morning. We're going to need to hit the drop chest. Or I, I need to create a drop uh, chest. So once I take out that island, I'll give a, a tour. Ammo, ammo, grenades, other fun stuff, sellables. You know what, we'll make this a uh, drop chest. We'll keep that and then drop everything else. Uh, there we go. Now hopefully we don't get attacked again. I would like, oh, there goes a bird. I would like to finish off that place. I may not be able to, but still. And we're also going to have to look into some making more gas. We're already at 10 liters and all that. So over there was the last place we went. So there we go. That means we're going to want to crank this forwards like this. And then get going. Once you figure out how to fly this, it's actually pretty decent. It still uh, needs to calm down on its fuel consumption, but still. Alright, we need to... 
look at where we're at. Okay, so we need to go that way. And then we can land over here. As you can see, pretty well speedy to get back over. Woo! And you don't have to worry about crashing it. Just land it and ta-da. Alright. I forgot to repair my flipping armor. Oops. Oh well. And we need something to drink. That just means I've got to be extra careful so I don't die. Once you actually get far enough in the game, food be and uh, medical and health becomes easy. Like, really, really easy. Which, woo! Ow. Shotguns to the body isn't going to help me kill these guys very easily. Nice shotgun ammo. I don't need shotgun ammo. Although it's probably a sign saying I should probably use shotguns. Oh, there's at least one person that I can, I should deal with that one that I just saw running. Where did you go? I saw you. Hmm. All right, well. Let's see if we can deal with this guy with a headshot and a... No. I saw him peek. Come on, peek. Can we get a headshot and a quick body shot? Dang it. There we go. If you, it kind of sucks, you need a headshot and a body shot. There's still people. Dang it. Oh, nice. Actually, you know what? We can trade that out. Eh, I don't care about that. Anything good? Health? Wise or... Ooh, I don't have those boots. I don't have that or that. I think I have those, but still. We can take some cloth so we can build more thingies around here. But we need to find the rest of the enemies. Ooh, there's a safe. Wow. Uh, train, don't care, don't care. Knowing my luck, I'm gonna end up getting shot like no tomorrow. But that's fine. At least I'll be able to tell where... Whoop. 
Goodbye. Tell you the truth, some of these helmets and stuff should not be like this guy's helmet here. It's like some kind of gas mask set up. I can I can say maybe the body armor would have uh, been helpful, but the mask or the helmet shouldn't have been. Now we just gotta figure out what the hell the rest of these. Oh, oh, we're double teams. I'm gonna die if I don't get out of here. I did not expect two of them. When you get surrounded by two shotguns, it's not a good thing. Oh, there he is. How the hell? They're cheating. Alright, I'll give you a quick tour of my place. We'll catch up on uh, here. It's getting late. So, uh, I've already given a tour of this place. The place I'm giving a tour of is down here. What I've got set up going on down here. So, we have our entrance right here, which comes up to here. This is where my battle ready stuff is. In other words, my weapon, ammo, tools, equipment, repair stuff. Over here, we have our hallway. Then we have an entrance into here, which is our armor workshop. In other words, we, we craft armor, we repair our armor, and all that fun stuff in store. And then from over there, we come out to here which is our storage where we'll store everything in other words all our equipment and other stuff i probably should put some doors like a door somewhere over here somewhere that comes into here and another door over to here but eh. then after that we have our research uh zone this is where we come in we do our research yes i know that's missing i don't have the wood right now then we have our woodworking area where we come in and we work with our wood and all that fun stuff. I'm going to move this, remove that, and simply put a wall right here. And then from there we come through here, which is just the hallway. And then you reach the generator, which I'm going to put a generator here. And then I'll probably put a couple small ones around here. Then we come into here, which is another hallway. And we come through this into the smelting room, which is where we've got the place to smelt iron and copper. And this is a blacksmith anvil, which is this is for crafting and beating the metal, even though technically this is like a weapons bench and it shouldn't be here. Considering the fact what this does, it fits this room. That's why it's here. We've got our steel making here come through here we come into our ammo shop and our gun shop where we uh, make ammo and uh, craft and tinker with the weapons here to make them work then after that you come down to here which is our recycler room this is where we'll store all of the stuff we need to recycle and get rid of and trash then from there, we'll come over to here, which will be our uh, fuel making room where we'll store all our chemicals and our uh, fuel and all that fun stuff. And then here we have our oxygen place. This is where we'll store our oxygen and stuff and uh, tell you the truth, probably some knickknacks and other little trinkets. Uh, let's make this like our little diving trophy room maybe put our fish uh, aquarium in there and that's what the bottom looks like I'm gonna get some food and other stuff which I put up here in my kitchen and then I kind of wish I could have finished the raid on that place but we'll get back to that so if you guys enjoyed watching me get killed please like if you didn't eh, I understand Anyways, 
we're gonna drink up and stuff and heal and we're gonna go back over there and start the next episode on that and then well actually uh i don't know if i should start the next episode anyways if you want to see more of this series make sure to check out the end screen credits as i will do more and if you want to see other games i play check out my channel i do play other games in the process and for now, I'm going to take the really long swim back over here. I'm going to get my stuff and then basically retreat and save that island for next time. And so I'm going to run out the clock here and let everybody get acknowledged. And then from there, say bye-bye. Oh, look at that. Now I can go actually bye-bye. So bye.